Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I wanted to show you guys a really neat theme that just popped up not too long ago. It's called Metroon for iOS 5, and it'll work on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So it's basically the Windows 8 Metro user interface on your iOS device, and it's not just a little application, it's a full theme that replaces Springboard on your iPhone or iPod Touch. And real quick, I'm just going to show you guys how to install it first, and then I'll run through the features, and you guys will want to open up Cydia. And the first thing you guys will need to install is Dreamboard. It's it's a free theme manager for iOS, so go ahead and install that. And the next thing you guys want to install is Metroon, and both of these things you can find in Cydia without adding any new sources. If you can't find them, just go to Changes and hit Refresh. Metroon does cost $1.50. I think it's totally worth it. It's an amazing theme, and let's go ahead and check it out. Now, I would recommend that you reboot your device after installing the theme, but once you have it installed in your applications, you're going to want to open up the Dreamboard application and... Over here, you'll just select the Metroon application and it'll install in just a few seconds and that's it. So now you guys are running the Windows 8 Metro user interface on your iPhone or iPod Touch and let's go ahead and run through it. So basically, these are all of your live tiles right here and you guys can slide them down in order to customize them, move them, make them smaller or bigger and live, you can turn it on or off just by doing that. And I'll just show you how this works. So I can slide it down slide it back up into place so you can rearrange things just like that it doesn't work by holding it like it would in iOS but it works very well and to get to all your applications you'll click on start all apps and here they are that's fairly straightforward again you can slide down on any of them and you can pin to the start menu or unpin them and if you guys want to change any of the settings theme wise just slide left this pops up go to settings you can change that colors in here change it to green, light gray. I have it on teal, looks the best to me. You can also change the backgrounds. There are circles, tendrils, tribals, whatever you guys like. And lastly, you could choose what you want on your notifications menu by selecting it in the settings, notifications. You can choose which app you wanna show up in your notifications menu on your lock screen. And the lock screen is really cool. You slide up and that's it. It's very smooth, it works. Here's your music over here. And there's a notifications menu right there. Now over here, you can change your username, which shows up right there. Also, you could lock your device without the use of the power button, and that's pretty neat. Now this icon over here, it'll take you to iOS, which you can use just like normal. Then just press the home button and it'll take you back to the theme. Now, if you guys want to go back to using normal iOS, all you have to do is go to your applications, go back into Dreamboard and select the default iOS icon over here. As simple as that. Now, I'm just going to stay on this because I do like it and I will be using it. It's very simple, very clean. Works just like you'd expect Windows 8 to work on an iOS device. But yeah, guys, that's it. Windows 8 theme for your iPhone or iPod Touch running on any iOS 5 firmware. I hope you like this video. Please like and favorite. Also comment, leave a question. I will try to get to it and subscribe for more great videos. Enjoy the Windows 8 theme guys. Peace.